LeVac and Goss here with you on 104.5 The Team, 104.5theteam.com. And there's been some big changes out in western New York. Coach Rex Ryan has been let go as the head coach of the Buffalo Bills. And joining us, he's a pro football Hall of Famer. Coach Marv Levy joined us. And Coach, Rex Ryan hired less than two years ago out in Buffalo. What were your initial thoughts when Coach Ryan was brought in to be the head man for the Bills? Well, I, I tell you, I can't say I had any one way or another. I did not know Rex very well. Uh, he'd been in with the Jets, uh, uh, so I, I, my my uh, re, my reaction was wait and see. <laughs> and um, you know, uh, I, I remember coaching for a great uh, assistant for a great coach, George Allen, and uh, he once uh, said he, one of the best phone messages he ever got was from an owner when he was coaching the L.A. Rams. Uh, on Christmas morning, it was Merry Christmas. You're fired, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and uh, I guess Rex ran into something very similar to that. Um, short career there, but for me to say that I followed him as closely as I did, of course, when I was coaching or for my general manager years, isn't it? Uh, I, I will have to say this: Rex talked a good game, uh, but I used to tell our players what you do. Speak so loudly, no one can hear what you're saying. So, uh, but everybody has to coach according to his own personality. I guess I haven't given you much of an answer, but uh, <laughs> the best I can come up with Co- now, Coach. That's a fine answer for us. And I think the other question Bills fans are going to want to know now, going forward, is what does this franchise need? Is it stability? Is it a coach who's had experience and won before in the league? You're running the Buffalo Bills. What are you looking for in the next head coach for this franchise? Well, I, one, the ability to teach to get across within the framework of his own personality. He might be an extrovert like Vince Lombardi was. He might be more quiet and laid back like Tom Landry was. With both guys, the ability to teach. Secondly, a man who's going to work well with others in the organization because total organization wins. The success we enjoyed while I was there, yeah, I'll take a little bit of credit. But Bill Polian, our general manager, Ralph Wilson, our fantastic owner, um, even and then all the people in the organization were important. They were so important that those years that we went to the Super Bowl, uh, Mr. Wilson took every single person, the ladies that cleaned up at night, the security guards, everybody, to those Super Bowl games. Plane fare, tickets, hotel, meals, you name it. Total organization wins. And, and third, be a straight shooter. Um, uh, that's very important. And I'll give you one more. Only bring in players of solid character. Ability without character will lose. Now, I don't know the players on the Bills team that well to be able to make a judgment, but at least that's that's the mantra I would follow. Pro Football Hall of Famer, Buffalo Bills, former head coach Marv Levy joins us here on 104.5 The Team and 104.5 The Team.com. Coach Brian Mariano filling in for Jeff LeVac today. Now, you all those stuff you mentioned about the – what the Bills should look at for their next coach. I'm a Giants fan. That sounds a lot like their former coach, Tom Coughlin. Would you be surprised to see Tom Coughlin take over the reins there in Buffalo? Well, I'll tell you, a chronological age is only uh, an approximate indication of your functional age. Some people can, can really keep it going and uh, others not. You say Tom, Tom is being considered? Well, uh, I coached till I was 72 years old. Uh, uh, so did uh, George Hallis. We were the two oldest. Um, uh, no, it is an age. It's your readiness and ability and so on. But I, I think it's taken into consideration. You evaluate, will the man still have the energy he needs? I certainly felt I did, and maybe Tom does too. The Pagulas have just started now as owners. just their second year owning the Buffalo Bills, and it's tough to compare them to guys who were giants in the game like Ralph Wilson and what he did for that franchise, but they're sort of still learning on the job a bit, and a lot of it, as you know, goes for stuff that happens behind the scenes, whether it be the GM, whether it be the president. Is it something when it goes all the way up to the front office where the Pagulas may have to look and say, maybe it's guys like Russ Brandon who has a lot on his plates or guys like... Doug Whaley, that maybe they look at that being a change they have to make in the future. Uh, my impressions of the of the Pagula family has been very favorable. Uh, the few brief times that I've had a chance to visit with them, I was thrilled that they did decide to keep the team in Buffalo. That makes them loyal. Um, you have to go through some tough times. I really feel bad for the Buffalo Bills fans because they they are they are fantastic fans. 
to go as long as they have without heavy, even making the playoffs. Um, but as I said earlier in some early remarks, it's total organization that wins, and the owner is part of that. My impressions of, of the Pagulas are that they've got a very fine owner in place, and uh, there has to be a, a lot of work done. I don't know. The, I've met Doug Whaley. I liked him, but I don't know much about his uh, talents or abilities. Um, I, I'm living here in Chicago now. Uh, the first three seasons that Theo Epstein came here, they had losing seasons. This year they won the World Series. Now, uh, I, I'm not trying to make that comparison. I'm just using it as a sort of maybe right now. Coach, you are 91 years old. What is the trick? What is the big thing that you say, hey, you guys want to live past 90? Coach Marv Leaf will tell you to do this in your life. Well, uh, st- stay active. Uh, I, I follow a, a generally healthy lifestyle. Um, I still exercise. I'm out for one hour, either a brisk walk, sprinkling a little bit of trotting. I lift weights three days a week. I ate a pretty good diet, I think. Uh, I'm fortunate to have a fantastic uh, wife, daughter, grandchildren, family around me, and some great friends. Um, all, all of those things contribute, uh, plus probably a, a pretty good, uh, I've been lucky uh, to still be this active and at this age, and uh, I've, I've been staying busy writing books. Uh, I just wrote a children's book, Go Cubs Go, from the viewpoint of a long-time Chicago Cubs fan where I grew up uh, for children about the Cubs winning this year's World Series. So staying active and all the other things that I've just rambled on about. No, Coach, it's amazing. You know, we have to ask this question because I'm sure Bills fans are going to want to suggest it a bit that even though you are 91, you are going to stay retired, right? You're not going to go back on the sidelines and coach the Bills? Uh, if they offered, I might do it. <laughs> you, you know, I, I don't, no, it was one of those things where after 47 years of coaching, uh, I really needed to get that deep breath to step aside. Uh, but after a couple of years passed, I very much would have liked to have gone back, but too many of the owners felt, oh, heck, it's time for, quote, noon improved or uh, maybe this guy's too old type of thing. But um, uh, I'd do it, but I'm not uh, deluding myself to think that the offer would come. If it did, I sure would consider it, sure. He's a pro football Hall of Famer. He's a former coach of the Buffalo Bills. We thank him for taking time with us today, Coach Marv Levy. Coach, best of luck. Happy New Year, and hopefully we'll talk again soon in the near future. Thank you. Good to talk with you, Brian, with all those uh, fine fans there in New York. Thank you.